Senator Lisa Murkowski, Republican of Alaska, has her first Republican challenger in her 2022 re-election bid. Alaska's Commissioner of Administration, Kelly Tishibaka, announced Monday that she will mount a, ch a campaign to oust Murkowski, who has drawn the ire of former President Trump and his allies for voting to convict him in his second impeachment trial last month. I am running for the Senate to represent our conservative Alaska values. I don't know how to pronounce this lady's name, I'm sorry. But she tweeted that and then she said, or she wrote rather, we're going to defeat Lisa Murkowski and show the DC insiders what happens when Alaska has strong conservative leadership. Let's see. Tishi Baca is the first, why do people always have names I can't pronounce? Republican to announce a Senate bid in Alaska ahead of next year's midterm elections. Murkowski, who has served in the Senate since 2002, has filed to run for re-election next year, but has not yet announced a campaign. In her role as Alaska's Commissioner of Administration, okay, they're talking about her a little bit, I don't really care. Um, and then they mentioned where um, Murkowski was able to get re-elected through a writing campaign in 2010. So I'm trying to see where uh, any of these are, okay. Or they point out that McConnell has said he will back, him and the rest of the Republican leaders will back Murkowski uh, next year. And that he, uh, Rick Scott, who is a clown in and of himself, has said that he will support Republican incumbents despite Trump's efforts to oust those whom he sees as disloyal to him. So when I see primary challenges, right, um, if I like the incumbent, I'll admit I have a bias in their favor. So if somebody primary challenges Rokana, I, you know, am more likely to be on Rose's side. But if the person makes a compelling case for why the individual that's currently there is not suited or at least not as suited as them to be there, I can be persuaded to change sides. And one of the problems I have with people who run against an incumbent is they don't oftentimes actually talk about the record of the incumbent. So if um, this lady of the uh, commissioner of administration came out and said, I don't like Murkowski being the senator because she voted to impeach Trump, um, voted against one of his Supreme Court nominees, voted against his education secretary, you know, some examples of votes that she didn't like, why she disliked them, what she wanted to do differently, even if those didn't dissuade me because I like those votes, I would at least understand, you know, it would it would be interesting. It seemed like this is someone of substance. But when I'm I'm reading your statement and you say you're running to represent our conservative Alaska values and you're gonna show DC insiders what happens when Alaska has strong conservative leadership, what does that even mean? You see, it's these nebulous, it, she's basically a reverse gender opposite party version of Biden, where like, think about it, he, he does the, oh, we're, we're trying to restore the soul of America. How? Th through what means? What are you going to do? And it's the same thing here. When I get elected, we're going to have uh, conservative Alaska values and show DC strong conservative leadership from Alaska. By doing what? Running your mouth on Twitter? <laughs> and now when I run for, if, if I ever run for office, I'm going to say, uh, we're going to, we're going to, uh, this person does not represent our liberal California values. And we're going to show DC insiders what happens when California has strong progressive leadership. I don't even know what that means. Like, they don't give you any policy substance. But listen, to be fair, this is the first day, so... We'll see if she actually writes anything. I just think it's really goofy to like mount a, a challenge against a member of your own party and then not give any specifics of what you're going to do differently. But whatever. Egotism rules, rules the day.